Hello, um, this is Amir Neal, and, um, I am doing a video to show you, um, how to make your gun look more realistic, basically taking off the orange tip and, like, the sticker. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty easy. It's, um, uh, it's very easy. Okay, so, the orange so the orange tip is a, it's screwed on, as you see, mine is bit up, wrecked for me, failing at trying to take it off, but I finally figured out how. Um, so, this orange tip is, it's got threads, and you put it on the front, and it is a negative thread, so to tighten it, you look, tighten it. You look at the top and go left from the top. So let's turn it left. So that's how you, you just keep. That's how you get it on. And so you can keep spinning. And then it's a 14 millimeter thread. And that's how you can um, you can buy silencer for it and stuff. Um, and it is glued on. And most people say, um, if they're isn't threads you should here um, put a hair dryer on hot and um, melt the glue um, even with threads some people do that but I took this it's like um, um, a grip to pull like beer can caps off like, that are twist offs and stuff and then I put a wrench um, well not really a wrench but this where you open it and close and it clamps. This is a really good tool for taking it off. And twisted it this way to the right from the top to pull it off. And it broke the glue. So it just breaks the glue because it's thread. So it just twists the glue. You have to do it really hard. And then uh, it works much better than just melting glue. You don't really need to. So you can take that off. And then there always is like a sticker right here. Um, and that really just makes your gun look like a toy because it says warning and stuff. And it's red and black. Makes it look a lot like a toy. Well, just scratch it off. And then if it's still sticky, use Goo Gone. If it's, but this part's metal, so I can use Goo Gone. But if your bottom receiver is plastic, then don't use it because Goo Gone will, um, it'll take it off, but it'll eat up the plastic. So do not do that. And yeah, that's how you make a gun look more realistic.